Hello guys, welcome to session 5 of Jenkins tutorial. In this session, we are going to see how to install some plugins in Jenkins and how to configure JDK and Maven in Jenkins. So let's begin by clicking on Manage Jenkins. We'll go on Manage Plugins. Here, if you have some updates available, then what you can do is you can check all the updates that you need and you can click on Download Now and Install After Restart. That will make the updates in uh, available to you so that you can install them and use them so for me i've already installed the updates now what i can do is i can go into the available tab and i can use the filter to search for the plugin that i'm looking for so i'll type green balls what this plugin does is it will change the color of the status symbol for the jobs in the dashboard as well as in the project explorer so as you saw that earlier blue ball was used as a symbol of success for uh, a build in a job so that will change from blue to green let's check this and click on install without restart what i'm going to do is i'm going to check this box as well that states that restart Jenkins after installation is complete so let's check it and wait for the installation to get completed so the installation has begun let's wait for it to get completed and Jenkins to get restarted so installation got completed and Jenkins is now restarting This occurred because I had enabled the auto refresh. So as soon as Jenkins stopped, the auto refresh made this page unavailable. So I'll try to connect to the page again. So if Jenkins is up again, this will connect. So as you can see, Jenkins restarted. Hence, I was able to connect to this page and now it has successfully installed the plugin and restarted. So let's go back to the dashboard and see the visible changes of what the green wall plugins did. So let's go back to dashboard. And in the dashboard, you can see that this green wall has come. So earlier for a successful build, here we saw was a blue ball and now we see is a green ball. So this has changed the color of the ball for the status. So let's go into the job. And you can see in the build history for all the successful builds, we can see a green ball instead of a blue ball. So that is what the green ball plugins did for us. So now let's go back to dashboard and configure JDK and Maven and Jenkins. So click on manage Jenkins. Then click on configure system. Now we'll scroll down to the section called JDK installation. So I'll click on add JDK. Now here we'll configure the JDK. For this, what we'll do is we'll first try to find if Java is installed on our system. So type Java hyphen version so we can see that java 1.7 is already installed so what we'll do is instead of installing java again i'll simply configure java in jenkins so i'll give a logical name for that so over here in the name you can type in some logical name i'll say java 7 jdk 7 and i'll uncheck this install automatically so uncheck it and we need to specify the java home for the java that is already installed on the system so type echo java underscore home this should give you the java home for the jdk installation just copy it and paste it over here and that's it jdk has been configured now we'll scroll down to the maven installation and we'll add maven click on add maven Similarly, over here, we need to give some logical name for the Maven installation. So we'll find out what is the Maven version installed on the system. So type mvn 
hyphen version so you can see that the maven's version is 3.0.4 so i'll type maven 304 similarly i'll uncheck this install automatically option and i need to specify the maven home so going back to the terminal you can see that the maven version command gave us not just the maven version it also gave us back the maven home and the java version so let's copy the maven home from here copy it and paste it over here and click anywhere outside so this configures maven as well so we'll save the configuration by clicking on save button and that's it like J jdk and maven has been configured in jenkins and we also installed the plugin called green balls so see you next time guys for the next session where we will pull in some maven projects from github repository and build the project so see you next time